Today's session will be interesting as I'll be introducing you with a new tool which will solve your many problems and help you leave a long lasting impression on your managers and colleagues. So the name of the tool is Wondershare Presentry which is an innovative and user friendly video presentation software. It offers various AI functions and allows you guys to create live stream and record stunning virtual presentations that grab the audience attention every time. With the user friendly interface and powerful features, this software is perfect for teachers, business users and educational influencers who aim to showcase their expertise with impact and engagement. And if you don't believe what I'm saying, watch the video till the end as I'm going to do a full demo where I'll take example of how to create a C for freshers and you don't need to pay money to anyone to create your CV. Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. So without any further delay, let's begin with the demo. So once you go to the link of Presentry Wondershare, which I'll provide in the video description, you will be landed to this page. And if you scroll down here, you can see this is a 14 day free trial, which you can use. If you just click on it, there will be a download, which will start very soon, which you need to open, allow and install. Once you have installed it on your desktop, you will see an icon, which is Wondershare Presentry. So I'm going to open this Wondershare Presentry and here you can see the home page and then you will have two options. One is about creating video presentation and the second option is create with AI. And I'm going to use this option because I want to act smart and take advantage of the technology which is available because it will make my work very quicker. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So just click on this. And then you will be prompted to enter your topic. And like I said, today I'm going to tell you how you can make your own CV if you're a fresher. So based on your prompt, you can see AI tool has given me some tips already on how a CV should be written for fresher. So I'm going to just click on continue. The moment I do it, I'll be prompted to select any of this template which is provided here. So I'm going to select this sample, which is the sunrise. And once I select it, you see something is happening in the background. The moment it's selected and my slides are getting ready, I will get a next button, which is called as continue button. So when it's done, you will see this button called continue, which will be enabled. Simply click on it. And then you can see all the details based on what you saw in the prompt. Here will be your title, your contents, and then more details from each of the points above. And your slides are ready and you just need to make some changes based on your own preference. So this is really going to save my a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to tell you all the features of this tool with a demo, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to record this video. So I'm going to very quickly start with this. The moment you see here your title, you can just move around based on how you want the layout to be. And then here you have your presentry. So here I'm going to very quickly just change my name, sorry, car here. And then let's quickly go at the top. On the top, you see here import. So when you click on import, you can import your pictures, your videos, your PowerPoint, or even you can share your desktop. So for this demo, I'm going to use picture because that is what generally I use for my presentation. So I'm going to click on one of my picture here, which I generally use. I'm going to put here and then I'll bring my name here. Now, if you are happy with the layout, let's move to the next one. Now here you have option of text. For example, you want another text here, for example, I'm going to write here career coach. On the right, you can see the properties like your font. You can change the font and then you can also change the opacity. You can also change your style. Also, you can change the color. I want to put a focus on career coach, so I'm not going to change anything as of now. Now, moving to the next one, you also have an option for teleprompter. So for presenter like me or creators or teachers who have to regularly teach their students, what you should be doing is you can write your main notes or your pointers on teleprompter because that helps you to remind what you need to talk. So I do generally add some points and this is a good one. So I'm going to just for this demo, I'm going to write a few lines here, which you can see. I've written here and I'm going to click on this. Say I'm on this slide and I want to talk about it. I can read directly from the teleprompter and I can use it during my dialogues. Now let's move to the second slide. Here on the second slide, you can see my contents are laid out. So introduction, gather and organize your personal information, choose appropriate CV format and other bits, which I'm going to show you now. Let's quickly go to resource. What is a resource? Here you have three things. One is background, sticker, and the third is your text. On the background, you have lots of options, different backgrounds, which you can download. 
if you're not happy with the background which is given to you now you can just choose any you want so for this demo i'm going to just click on simple like a white hallway so here this looks very cool here you can see my contents now going back to resource moving to sticker now you can use any of this stickers to make your content engaging and interesting so i'm going to use something from social media so here in social media you have really nice emojis i'm going to use something like this because i want people to be notified and put emphasis on something so here is more like a reminder say at the top i'm going to put like this so you can select any of the stickers based on your preference now going back to resource the third one is about the text like I said, I showed you the text, which you show now, but say if you're not happy with any of the format and you want some more funky or another kind of format, which you can select it from here. So I'm going to just select one to show your demo, say this one text, and I'm going to just put here in terms of introduction and I can get rid of my previous one. So here you see, this is how introduction will be done. And it's totally up to you, which one you want to use it. I'll keep it simple just for demo. I'm going to show you it here. So that's all about resource. Now let's move to animation. So here on the animation. So firstly, you need to select what do you want to animate? So I'm going to animate, say, number one, this. And then I'm on set action. Under set action, you will see different animations like appear, emphasis, and disappear. I'll just stick to appear now. So I've clicked on appear. And then I'm going to move to the next one, which is another appear. And the next one is your appear. And once you have done your animation, go to order because you want to see in which order it should come. So the order is simple, one, two, three, four. Here you can see the order as well at the top. So just go and clicking on here. I'll just do a little preview so that you can see how it is being done. So here you can see number one, number two, three, four. And this is while doing a demo, I can talk about all these points. Now going back to the editor. So we are done with animation and the last one here is the property. So if you want to change the background, if you're not happy with any of the layout, you can select from any of this background. Now let's move to the editor. At the bottom here is your mic, your speaker, and then is your camera. So you need to click on the camera if you want to show your photo. So once you click on the camera, this is how your picture will come like. You can change the frame if you want. I'll just keep it simple and round and you can move this around your screen. So here I'm just going to put at the bottom so that I can read and see and people can also see me at the bottom and they can read the main content from the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on now record and you can just see how I record my videos. Hi guys, welcome to the session of how to create a perfect CV for Freshers. If you don't know how to write a CV, this session is for you. And now I'm going to show you how you should be using the template. So this is the best template for freshers that you should be sticking to. So start with your name, your phone number, your LinkedIn, email ID, provide the personal statement, which I talked about now, add your key skills, followed by your employment history, which company, what role, when you did, and what was your key roles and responsibilities. And at the end, Write your education, hobbies, and interests. And if you have done any voluntary work or internship work, make sure you add that as well. So this is how you should be writing your CV. The templates will be provided and you can take it from the links in my video description. So this is all about today's video and I'm going to wrap this up now. So once you have recorded your video, just click on stop and here is the option to export. So I'm going to just export this now. My export is complete in few seconds. And let's play this. Hi guys, welcome to the session of how to create a perfect CV for freshers. If you don't know how to write a CV, this session is for you. So I'm going to stop here now. This is how my recorded video looks like. It's exported. I can use this to upload on my YouTube channel or also I can share this with anyone or even like students. What I forgot to mention is at the end here, you also have option of streaming. If you want to do a live stream, you can also do that. So I hope you found this video useful. Please go ahead and try this tool. If you guys got any questions or comments, do let me know in the comment section below. And all the best, guys and make sure you write your perfect CV. Thanks for watching the video till the end and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.